Hey guys, I'm Jill Powell and today I'm going to teach you how to do this easy look with your hair that's that undone texture kind of windblown effect with the flat iron. Okay, so everyone always asks me how I get my hair done um, for my every single day. I just like this kind of tousled, textured wave situation going on. I love using a flat iron and I know that that scares some people, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get the hair that I do on an everyday basis. Okay, so one way I get this kind of textury, PC hair is either I take my fingers and comb out my hair that way, or if you have a lot of knots in the morning, go ahead and brush your hair and then you get a windblown effect with a blow dryer. So take any type of blow dryer and you're just going to turn it on. And give yourself some texture. Sometimes hair looks better when it's been lived in a little bit and that's what we're going for on this look. So now that I have my hair kind of less perfect, a little more PC, we can go into flat ironing it. And actually we're gonna be curling it with a flat iron. So this is how I do it. So I'm taking my GHD, I believe this is like a one inch, um, and I take pieces about this big, and you wanna curl them away from your face. So when you're doing a flat iron curl, you are gonna go in, clamp, rotate to the back, and pull through. And you get this little curl. So I'll show you that one more time. So you're gonna go in, and I invert my wrist because we're gonna pull backwards. So I'm gonna go in, clamp, invert my wrist, pull backwards, and pull through. And there's your curl. I also like to kind of pull it out so it's not too perfect. And then I'm gonna take the next section. I'm gonna in, clamp, invert, and pull through. Just like that. That one needed a little more time. I pulled it a little too fast, so we'll do that again. And I like to leave the ends a little more straight. And if you see, I'm just picking up chunks kind of randomly. I don't love it to be too perfect. So I don't want to section my hair out too flawlessly. And then if you notice, I've left a little piece underneath. So I've got backwards, backwards, backwards. Now I'm going to take this piece right here to break it up. I'm going to go forward. So instead of me curling backwards, I'm going to curl forwards. So I'm going to stick it in, curl forwards, and pull through. And then I've got that one. Again, pull it out because you don't want it to be too curly. And if it is too curly, you can just kind of go over it with your flat iron. Take the next chunk. Again, in, rotate back, pull down, leaving the end open. Grab another chunk. And I do, I like that texture messy kind of look. So I'm, again, not being perfect. Every once in a while, pull one. So you're alternating ways. And then I'm gonna flat iron that end because it got a little too curly. Shake everything out. And we're kind of getting the look that I want. And it's okay if you leave a few of them straight in here. Again, this is like lived in kind of next day hair anyways. At least that's what I'm personally going for. All right, so I have pretty much this half of, oops, I missed a piece. This half of my head is pretty much done. So I'm gonna move on to the other side. So again, I like to do my front piece first. This is kind of my highlighted blonde piece and I do need to get my hair done pretty soon. I like that lived in, kind of grown out. I love a little bit of a root. So I like that one to go back, kind of frame my face. Maybe a little bit of volume at the root. So I'm just gonna arc that a little bit grabbing another piece, have that one go back. And it's a little different on this side because I don't need to invert my wrist as much. So just grab another piece. I can just kind of flip it. Grab the one in between. And this one I like to go forward, just like that, pulling it down. What else? Got one in here. So I kind of just grab 
chunks of hair, somewhat sporadic, and that's what's giving me this texture that I love. And the larger the chunks of hair, that's all gonna be the same pattern. So if you want a lot of volume, you can take even smaller pieces and do that so that they're all kind of different patterns and they're gonna not, not go together, but sometimes people like their hair to go in the same pattern. And again, shaking it out every so often, kind of seeing what your, your pattern's looking like and how it's working. So I'm just taking these pieces and again, shaking out where I can. The biggest thing is my ends, keeping those really straight. And I'm using my fingers a lot because I want this to be, want this to be like a really windblown, natural textured look. That one's killing me. I'm not loving it. I might go over it again. Anytime you need to go over a same piece, make sure it's cooled. Um, you don't want to go over it when it's still hot. It'll actually, it could burn your hair and it could also not hold the curl. All right, that's actually pretty. I'm just gonna match it on the other side. Give a little extra zhuzh right by my eyes. And now the back, this one's the hardest for me. I just kind of go here, flip and pull. When you're doing it on yourself, like again, it needs just to be textured. So as long as you're going in different patterns, forward and backwards, then it will look really good. And it doesn't need to be perfect, because that's, that's what's in, guys. It's so nice not to have to have this perfectly coiffed hair all the time. All right. So what I'll do, too, is I like my ends to kind of stick out a little bit, so I'm just giving them a slight bend to create some texture at the bottom. And the way my hair is cut, I've got, you know, different layers and levels. So you want to get all those layers seen. At the end, you want it kind of looking a little bit messy. And I'm just kind of blindly going in the back and curling like this. Sometimes I'll get in the mirror and check underneath and see what I've got going on. Or I'll ask my daughter to come in and tell me what else I need to curl in the back. She'll be my eyes in the back. But you can also take a mirror and kind of try and see where you have some more straight pieces. Mm, it's looking decent. Pretty good. And I do leave some of the underneath a little bit more straight. Partly because I'm lazy and I don't like to take a lot of time, and partly because you don't notice it, it doesn't look that bad. So, just give that one a little extra curl. Oops, and then that one's going in, so I'm gonna move it out. All right, so now I have my curls pretty much done. I wanna give a little volume at the root. So I take a texture spray, this one's by Amika. It's called Undone, and it's, I lift it up and I'll spray right at that root. Then I'll get another line, lift it up, spray right at that root, get another line. So just for some volume, again, I like lift up certain sections, spray right at the root. And this will help to create a little bit of grit right at the root so you can really lift. Do that on the other side. So section it, spray section, spray, section, spray, keep on going. And once you've done that, sometimes I'll give a little texture spray throughout as well. You can even do a little hairspray. So this one's another one by Amika. Um, and this is the touchable hairspray. I like to do this kind of through my ends because it's, it holds, but it doesn't make it super stiff. I'm getting some volume. 
And same thing over here. Just lift and spray. Definitely want volume in the back. Lift and spray. I'm getting lots of volume here. Good thing. I feel like I need to touch up one of these. It's a little straight. Just give it a little extra love. There we go. Okay. So now that I feel like I have the volume that I want, kind of the texture that I want in these curls, I do want to piece them out just a tiny bit more. So I take my Leonard Grail Eclat Natural, which is basically like a texturizing paste, and I only use a tiny bit. So a little bit bigger than a pea size, kind of an edamame bean. I had sushi last night, so that's what it is. And we're going to blend it through our fingers, and then we're just going to piece this out. And I like to scrunch. I do it mostly on the ends because it creates a lot of texture and it, it's almost like a, like a molding paste. And so I just like my ends to look really piecey. And my hair is done for the day. So just a quick recap, I went ahead and used a hair dryer to give myself a little bit more of a windblown effect before I started flat ironing my hair. And then I went in with the flat iron, inverted it with my wrist when I'm doing my personal left side. So I took a piece, inverted, clamped down, and then pulled through just like that. Same thing for the other side. You want the first curls to go away from your face and then you want to alternate curls so that you don't have the same curl pattern. It creates a lot more volume and a little bit of texture. And then once you're done curling all of your hair, leaving the ends straight, you can flip the ends a little bit with your flat iron just to give, again, a little bit more texture at the bottom. Separate at the root with, little, um, with your finger and spray with a texture spray. And do that all throughout your hair and then finish off with a little bit of a molding paste. I personally love the Leonard Grail um, Eclat Natural. I, feel, I find that it just has this perfect hold and like separation and it just looks exactly what I want it to look like. So you can also use a little bit of hairspray to again keep that hold and create some volume. And then just making sure that you're getting that volume at the roots and kind of messing it up. The whole look is a little bit more messy, so that's just how you get this look. Thanks again for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below what you want to see next. All of the products used in my video are also linked below. And if you want to see more, follow me anywhere at Joe Powell Glam. Thanks again.